Declaration of Sovereignty, Section 3. I, Peter of England, now declare my right under the common law, the natural law of man, which is my inviolable right, to be sole sovereign of myself, wheresoever and upon whichsoever isle I may from time to time dwell on or reside or find myself upon, to withdraw and withhold all allegiance and obedience to those persons, presidents, monarchies, republics and public governments, UN, NATO and the World Banking Institution, and all those who falsely claim to speak and or to act in my behalf. I will remove myself entirely from the authority of those evil persons who now seek to abuse and misuse me in the name of world government and war and oppression of others. Elizabeth, the Queen of England, the French Republic, the global Zionist tyrannical empire known commonly as the United States of America, PLC, the satellite state of Israel and its nomadic elite, which in turn is nothing more than an alter ego of the Roman Church, I declare all of them to be absolute and in total violation of the common law of the people to which I belong. Particulars. I hereby place on record for all persons that after said 30 days have expired, being the 5th of July 2012, and the corrections I seek have not been made by way of the dismissal of the traitors in the House of Commons and the Lords in the United Kingdom, the Privy Council, the Lords of Money, the Crown Prosecution System, the Attorney General, his entire Crown Serving Office and Officers, as well as the National Assembly of the Republic of France, the Congress and the Senate of the United States of America, the Board of the Federal Reserve, and as well as stepping down of the current incumbent criminal stooge of the Crown Papacy and Rothschild Cartel, referred to as Barack Hussein Obama, then I, Peter of England, currently of address supplied to named usurpers, will enter into lawful rebellion under the Article 61 of Magna Carta 1215, and therefore will become a free man of England, Wales, Scotland, Ireland, Germany, France, the continent of Europe, the global hours of the planet Earth, with the freedom of common law and universal law behind me. B. I will then declare myself free from all chastisement, husbandry and surveillance. Laws, taxes accorded to the states, and from any such interference of authority of world government, the United Nations, NATO, the CFR, the Trilateral Commission, the World Bank and all, and its Rothschild controlled public forms, goons as well as military and secret operatives and death squads and any obligations thereunto by way of second and final lawful affidavit. From then on I shall issue a final affidavit and failure to respond will result in permanent, irrevocable, lawful estoppel by acquiescence. Permanent, not temporary. Irrevocable, cannot be undone or changed in any way. Lawful, has the force of common law behind it. Estoppel, a term in law which means any counteraction is prevented. Any counteraction has been stopped. Acquiescence, has been consented to by default. Consent has been gained because no substantial objection has been received. God bless you. Place of claim of right, 9 Boland Avenue, not Newcastle under the line. SD5 60Q Staffs United Kingdom. Attachment affidavit one follows. Affidavit one of Peter of England. Treachery, trickery, notification of dismissal of the assembly of traitors, notification of intention to withdraw. In pursuit of justice and right and in full exercise of my undoubted and lawful duty to myself, this planet and its peoples, I, Peter of England, now resident at Address Supplied, and being the son of straw man Joseph Bernard Smith, make oath and say as follows. 1. It being apparent to me and a multitude of others that the diverse evil persons and others have falsely and unlawfully induced the British monarchy, the governments and monarchies of Europe, the government of the United States of America, and practically all other planetary governments via coercion, threats, assassination, bribery, inducement and blackmail, as well as other evil and nefarious activities, to act against the basic interests of the people, and that these spawned global military, industrial and economic models have been imposed on the people after these evil persons have set foot upon their sovereign soil, or their constitutions have been violated by the United Nations, NATO and other shell corporations of the above and via false and fake rigged elections of the people's representatives to believe that they are alone are the true representatives of the people placed to care for them by Almighty God. Two, 
it being apparent to me and to a multitude of others that these same evil persons have unlawfully and falsely induced all world governments, the French and German people, and those of the Global Isles generally, to give an unlawful effect to legislation that has violated and continues to violate the common law, which legislation further serves to undermine, deny and destroy the absolute supremacy of my self-sovereignty and right to self-determination and peaceful coexistence and all to the prejudice of the world's peoples and those of this planet generally, and in absolute contravention of the right of the people to live in accordance with their own laws and customs. Three, and it being further apparent to me and to a multitude of others that the entirely previously lawful authority of sovereigns, presidents and senates and congress to uphold and defend its people is now so reduced or destroyed by the many processes of treason, treachery, trickery, falsehoods already perpetrated and which are still being employed against these formerly legitimate concerns and other governments from within the ranks of those evil persons who have been and are now entrusted with authority to manage the affairs of the people and other global peoples that my security and safety under the rule of those laws which is my inalienable birthright is now threatened but to my personal no detriment and danger to the detriment and danger of my family my people my country and in their entirety and it being finally apparent to me that I can achieve no redress to those many grievances that I now have and which result entirely from the unlawful conduct of those evil persons who now surround the person and throne of myself as lawful sovereign. And those persons being all those are set out in section 1, supra, notification of grievance, sacrament, make it known that I now intend the following. I now place on the record to all persons mentioned in the preamble who historically claim to assert so-called lawful authority over me in the name of the world government, that unless there is a correction to the many processes of misgovernment and abuse that have been and are now being opposed upon me, with such process of correction being commenced, undertaken, evidenced and given first and lasting effect within a period of 30 days from this present date, and such process of correction not being fully evidenced by global media statements by the BBC World Service announced by any of the following, the Queen, the monarchy of Great Britain, the President of the United States of America with a joint statement from Benjamin Netanyahu and or the Israeli Neset or his controller, the Secretary of General of the United Nations, the head of NATO and, or the others in the form of a public dismissal declaration of the Assembly of Traitors that is now falsely describing itself as a representation of the people within the Houses of Commons, the Houses of Lords in England and NATO, the United Nations and the World Bank the Federal Reserve as well as the European sovereign states and European confederations and such, and with such dismissal, providing the entirety of the people of this planet themselves with the full opportunity to speak and to act on their own behalf in the election of representatives who are truly loyal to the purposes of the people, and this same being done in other mentioned assemblies, countries and clandestine concerns, in effect rendering a complete revolution and divesting of control of all existing world government models, then I will withdraw and withhold all allegiance and obedience to those persons mentioned in section 1, preamble, notification of grievance and claim of right, sacrament, then and by such action I will remove myself entirely from the authority, remove myself entirely from the authority of those evil persons who now seek to abuse and misuse me in the name of and under the guise of protection and security. Nine, and I give notice finally that I will only return my full allegiance to the duty appointed persons of government when this world is released from the bondage that now prevents its people from the free exercise of their lawful individual authority and freedoms which should be upheld by the common law of this planet, which is my birthright, and to ensure for all time to come that the government of my country and other countries is conducted in full accordance with the laws and customs of my people, but not before.